Barry Hill has been given a mission by the world's top governments to collect the funniest stuff he can find to prove in the event of an alien invasion that humans are quite good fun to hang out with. The mission codename, Alien Fun Capsule. Alien Fun Capsule. Yes, I'm collecting as much funny stuff as I can find to put into a capsule to keep the aliens from invading. Yes, I was as surprised as you that the pilot was picked up. But <laughs> we're here now, so let's make the best of it. <clears throat> Joining me on my search, Ainsley Harriet, <laughs> Kathy Burke, <laughs> Joe Lysis, and... Oh! There's no-one in the fourth seat. I think our fourth guest has run into difficulties. Uh, we... Right, according to that um, announcement there, the building is being evacuated. I'll try and find out what happens. In the meantime, we'll, we'll keep going. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. Right. OK. We'll get back to those messages very shortly. It's daytime, darling, Lorraine Kelly! <laughs> wrong song, it's the wrong, it's the wrong song, that's this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm putting Lorraine Kelly, carried by a fireman, into the fun capsule. <laughs> How about that? Fine. Right. Thanks, Greg. I love you. <laughs> you fall in that? I've fallen in love. That's all it takes. <laughs> See how it works? Anything can go into the fun capsule, as long as it's funny. <laughs> now, Joe Lysett and Lorraine, you've, uh, you've met before, I believe. We have. Yes, we've met. I went on Lorraine's show. Well, let's just remind ourselves of that meeting. I love a pun. Yes. Which is why I've brought you a quiche Lorraine, <gasps> Lorraine. Thank you. Do you know what? Yes. That's really, really kind. Did you make that yourself? Yeah. yeah no, you yeah, didn't. I definitely made that and put that in the packaging there for you. <laughs> yes, that Frost Nixon all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I was disappointed when I came on your show, Lorraine, because uh, that was only a quiche Lorraine, and the original idea was to have your face on a quiche so that I could say it's a Lorraine quiche Lorraine Lorraine. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I made one for you. Oh, that's oh. so me! <laughs> Look, I mean, you can tell. It's so similar. You sort of got the eyes. Of course, Ray, we've all loved your work over the years on GMTV. People dismiss daytime TV as lightweight. But you've actually broken some really big stories over the years, haven't you? <laughs> right now, it's time for our doctor. <laughs> Good morning, Lorraine. Until now, women suffering from thrush have had to see their doctor to get a prescription <laughs> for a commonly prescribed treatment. But now, clotrimazole vaginal cream is available without prescription at the chemist. <laughs> Hey! Oh, a bit of journalism there. Now, Kathy Burke, of course, you are one of our most highly respected theatre directors. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, theatre is all about telling stories, isn't it? Yes, it's not about money, certainly. <laughs> well, let's not get bitter. <laughs> of course, you've always been a great storyteller. Shut up! <laughs> well, I'm not changed the act. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, yes. No. After an initial reluctance there, you did start to tell your story, didn't you? And based, as all good stories are, on real life. He's walking down to go towards the farm, and he sees this little figure bobbing about in the distance, right? Figure in the distance, yes. <laughs> you know, that reminds me a bit of the three little pigs. Do you remember the one? Uh, one had a house made of bricks, another had a house made of sticks, and the third had a house made from straw. See, full blimey, for what's that? And he got down to his farm, and there's some bloke down there having it away with one of the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Quite how I remember the three little pig <laughs> story. That was my very first job. That was called Scrubbers. It was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, Ainsley Harriet, you've made so many cookery shows over the years, and they've, of course, they've taken you all around the world. I did the street food street series. Street food, one of my took favorite. me to ten different destinations around the world, ended up in Japan, and I had something called puffer fish, which is the poison fish. Yes, I, I normally have the saveloy myself, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> But it wasn't all work, 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 was it, Ainsley, on those trips abroad? It's my last night in Osaka. I'm venturing northwards towards Juso, the city's red light district. Why not? Why not? You're single, you've got money in your pocket, you're a long way from home, fill your boots. Why street food? Why was it called street food, actually? Because it was literally food that you buy on the streets, really. Did you like that? Do you know when you... Like fish and chips? Nah. When you... <laughs> <laughs> Get fish and chips from a fish and chip shop. Yes. Yeah. But I wouldn't get I wouldn't get fish and chips from the street. <laughs> Have you ever walked down the street eating it? No. Was... You never had a chip walking down the street. <laughs> no. What about in the car? <laughs> Why not? I don't believe you. No, <laughs> I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, time for our first round. Yes, we haven't had a round yet. Not sure what those other things were, but never mind. <laughs> and to help us choose the round, I've got an alien in a box here. Here he is. He's in his little box there. <laughs> You're right, Alan. Yes, thumbs up. <laughs> yes. Now, the game we're going to play, uh, it's, um, it's called surgery. It's a bit like operation, but it's, it's not operation. <laughs> <laughs> Each of the organs represent... A different subject. OK, you have the key there, Cathy, if you could look at the key. What does the liver represent? Uh, Britain's decision to leave the EU. Yes, plenty of humour there, I would have thought. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and the stomach. What about the stomach? Uh, Scottish stuff. Scottish? <laughs> Scottish stuff? I'm not mm -hmm. sure who that might be aimed at, but... Um... <laughs> And the, the anus. What about the anus? Former Secretary of State for Education, Michael Gove. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit cheap, but it's mass entertainment after all. <laughs> right, Alan. If you could take the little tweezers there. That's it. Just take those between your little fingers. If you'd like to... <laughs> if you'd like to se select an organ... Uh, perhaps I might... Help you. He's gone for the stomach. It's the stomach, so the category is Kathy. Scottish stuff. It's Scottish stuff. stuff. Yes. He's got there. He's got there in the end. High five. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people <laughs> may not realise because you cover your accent so well, but Lorraine, you're from Scotland, aren't you? I am. You're so observant. <laughs> Ainsley. Do you know how you make a Glaswegian omelette? I'm sure you're going to tell me, Harry. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> so when you go and stand on the neck. <laughs> See you again. <laughs> no, no, we please. We don't want to fall into the all too common stereotype of, exactly. of Scottish people liking one too many drinks, do we? No. No. You've certainly never appeared drunk on television, have you, Lorraine? So much gin down here. <laughs> Remember this? Come here, come here. Oh, no, no, no. To say, look at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. I really don't remember that. Why doesn't that not surprise me? I'm afraid, Lorraine, I. I must ask you to provide a urine sample. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting for that, Pesh, I'd like you to blow into this, please. Okay. Yeah. Just like that? Do you just yeah. do that? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> I love that. It's so much. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased to tell you that uh, you're fine to drive, but you're not drunk enough to do this show. But, uh, <laughs> But I understand you, you studied Russian. I did study Russian at school, yeah, I did. Ah. So, Lorraine, you are Scottish, but you studied Russian. Mm -hmm. So let's find out which you know best as we play Trossachs or Cossacks. <laughs> OK. Yes, thank you. Here we are. We're joined by a real-life Scottish person. <laughs> Colin, is that your real hair? Is that? Yes. Okay. Good night. 
you're, you're bald, aren't you, actually, Colin? And we, when you arrived, we didn't think you looked Scottish enough, so... <laughs> We've added a little bit of extra Scots to your <laughs> head. Now, Lorraine, I will present to you some words either in Russian or Scottish. OK. Your job is to correctly identify which. Once you've made your choice, Colin's magic sporran will produce a sign to tell us... <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> to tell us the correct answer. Is that clear? That's very clear, Let's Harry. go with the first word. <laughs> Moscow. 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 Now, hang on, you're oh. messing with me. Because there is a Moscow in Russia, but there is a Moscow in Ayrshire as well. Oh, so it's that? maybe both. <clears throat> Can it be both? Can it be, Harry? It can't be both. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, we think it's Russian, so it's, we're going to say Cossack. Yeah. Let's have a look at the Sporran. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> 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 uh, we should have gone for that one. It's yeah. not <laughs> Russian. Yeah, it's... it's the Scottish flag there. It's not Russian. <laughs> 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 Where's it coming from? Don't ask. Don't it's the magic sporran. <laughs> the magic sporran. Let's sorry. spoil it for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> the, no, of course, Moscow is a Scottish word, as in... I must go and get my dinner from the chicken. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Dreadful. Try again. Kiev. Yeah. Kiev, oh. what about yep. Kiev? Do you eat chicken caves a lot in Scotland? We eat everything. Well, then it's got to be Scottish, isn't it? We think it's Scottish and we're going to say Trossack. Do you want to throw it open to the other side? Guys, over that side. Up your Trossacks, we think it's Cossacks. <laughs> Come in, reveal the answer. <laughs> oh, it's a wee Scotty dog. <laughs> and what noise does the Scotty dog make, Colin? Woof, woof. <laughs> Are you a hostage, Colin? <laughs> It's a Scotty dog which tells us it's a Scottish word, as in, I can find my key, I've dropped it in the chippy. <laughs> it's getting lost. It's actually getting lost. <laughs> Last one. Concentrate, Lorraine. Nicholas Sturgeon. <laughs> Let me think. That's really hard. Nicholas Sturgeon. Um, I, think, although, although I think it's Russian. I think it's, I think it's Russian yeah. because the Sturgeon with the, the caviar and all the rest of it. So we're going to say Cossack. You're saying Cossack. Cossack. Oh, it's the end of a Kalashnikov rifle. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Russian. Yes, Nicholas Sturgeon is actually a question that's asked by uh, a Russian person as they're looking into a pond and wondering where all the fish that produce caviar have gone. Who's <laughs> Nicholas Sturgeon? <laughs> that was Cossacks or Cossacks. I'm sticking Scottish stuff into the fun capsule. There it goes. Oh, very exciting. Time for a break. But before we go, I have a question. Well, as you start to prepare to come down, think about coming down maybe with straight legs for a bit more of a challenge. What happens next? What happens next? Find out after the break. <laughs> to Alien Fun Capsule, where I'm joined by Ainsley Harriet, Kathy Burke, Lorraine Kelly and Joe Lysett. Now, before the break, I asked you a question. Think about coming down, maybe with straight legs, for a bit more of a challenge. What happens next? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. What do you think? Anyone got any does ideas? She, does she break wind, Harry? Mm. Uh, that would be a little <laughs> low, even for us. <laughs> <laughs> Kebu? <laughs> 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 That's not, I like that. <laughs> Does a dog run in and pull off her socks? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Think about coming down, maybe with straight legs for a bit more of a challenge. And just thinking about the size of the body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yoga. <laughs> I feel more relaxed just watching it. <laughs> That's going in the phone capsule. <laughs> now, Ainsley Harris, we certainly love your couscous in our house. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have the same sachet now for three years. <laughs> 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 just waiting for a special occasion, you know. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Like Camilla Parker Bowles getting pregnant. But, um... <laughs> 
Plus, of course, we love your lovely cup soups. Oh. Here we are, some of your lovely cup soups. Ooh. Now, to be clear, that's cup soups, not cuppa soups. <laughs> I love, uh, you know, do you fancy it? Have one. Have oh, a, thank you. Have a box lovely. of uh, angels. Uh, there we are, Kathy. Have you tried it before then, Kathy? Have you had a bit of that? No. Really? Humour him at least, Kathy. <laughs> no, I've never had this. <laughs> <laughs> open it up, because what I love about your cups, you say, is when you open up the, the packet, you've got those lovely, brightly coloured sachets of... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's, um... It's a bit utilitarian. <laughs> And I don't know. You actually, you know what? I don't even. Sometimes I don't even use a cup. I just. <laughs> I just open. I just open it up and look. There's. Lovely. What flavour you got there, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> it's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> just like Mama used to make. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we must move on. It's time for our local news roundup. Yay! Local news roundup. Man takes seconds to work with him. Local news roundup. Made to practice my day. Local news roundup. Time not ready for sushi. <laughs> local news roundup. Seagulls turned off my TV. <laughs> local news roundup, local news roundup. That was our local news roundup. Woo! Yes. They're all true, though, by the way. There's a whole world out there. Now, Lorraine, I've noticed uh, you have a few Lorraine endorsed products on the market, don't you? Um, a couple. Yeah. It's uh, clothes. Yeah, and, some and, lovely clothes. And cushions. I'd like Lorraine to re release a clock. OK. Because you have my favourite tweet ever, which is somebody tweeted you saying, <laughs> can you change the clock on your show? It's an hour out. Yeah. And you replied, you're watching ITV Plus One, love. <laughs> <laughs> I get it's that my favourite tweet <laughs> I've ever... <laughs> but there's no shortage of merch available for the Ainsley Harriet superfan, is there, Ainsley? No, no, not at all. We have the soups, of course, but my favourite is the Ainsley Harriet cushions. There they are. <laughs> I've got one. Have you seen these? Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> it's a lovely. <laughs> yeah, people do it on the internet. I yeah, it's a lovely, comfy cushion, but really, you have to sit on it to discover just <laughs> how comfortable. Uh, mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nearly the end of the show, but before we go, Joe, you're from the Midlands, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> you don't have the accent. How have I'm... you managed to avoid the. Just I'm better. <laughs> I'm sure you don't mean that. Um, have you, by any chance, ever been, though, to Coventry Market? I'm rarely out of Coventry Market. <laughs> it's a great... It's a great market. I only bring it up because it's such a great day out. Yeah. Have you ever been? I'd like to go. You'd like to go, <laughs> yeah. There's so much I'd like to tell you about it, but, you know, it's a shame there isn't, you know, a song that sums it all up in one go. Coventry Market, all kinds of everything. Something. Oh, there is a song about Coventry Market. <laughs> it's great to see Robert Webb there, wasn't it? <laughs> It tells you all about the stuff you can buy in Coventry Market, like rugs. Although I'm not complaining, it can be financially draining when you fall in love with the lady who sells rugs. That's rugs. 
He's a rug addict. But... <laughs> It also delves into Coventry's dark history, the night it was bombed by the Luftwaffe. The night they tried to kill our town. <laughs> you know what? I can't recommend Coventry Market enough. Coventry Market, all kinds of everything. Some people are anyone. There's no comparison. Mind you, Amazon's pretty good for most things, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Still! Coventry Market, all kinds of everything. Something for anyone. There's no comparison. Genuine bargains, explore what's in store. Confused or abused, just ask what it's for. Shares you a second, chasing, inviting. So kind of poor things, no kind of thing. We watched our homes and livelihoods burn down. The night had tried to kill our town. Coventry Market, Coventry Market, Coventry Market, all kinds of, all kinds of everything. Although I'm not a idiot, can be financially draining when you fall in love. With the lady who sells rocks. Coventry Market, all kinds of everything. Something for anyone, there's no comparison. The treasure of wonders, exciting, exciting. It's some kind of all things and all kinds of everything. All kinds of everything. That's going in the front capsule. My thanks to Joe Lighty, Kathy Burke, Anthony Harriet, and Lorraine Kay for filling the fun capsule. That's all from us. Good night! The young Jane Tennyson's back on the case next. Stephanie Martini stars in our brand new crime drama, Prime Suspect 1973. A couple of great guests joining John Bishop tonight Pamela Anderson, world boxing champ Tony Bellew, will be on the nightly show at 10.